Hey everybody, this is Sean with the Kings Courtyard Lawn Care Service. And um, I'm back in my house about to go out. I don't know what the temperature is, but it is currently cold as you can tell. Got on my sweatshirt, and uh, but it's supposed to warm up a little bit. We've been getting a lot of rain this week, so the ground is still pretty soft and uh, still kind of um, still kind of cold outside. So that's why I got this on. Uh, spring is here, finally here. Um, if you look, you can tell that the trees are starting to bloom a little bit. And uh, so yeah, um, I want to talk to you guys real quick about something that I, I deem is very important in my business. And I think you guys should too. And that is simply organization. If you look at my truck and my trailer, everything is organized. So um, all of the stuff that I have in my lawn uh, care setup, my mowers, my trimmers, my blowers, all of that stuff. Mainly, this is my area right here where um, I use the most equipment. So this area right here is going to be in the front. And then as I get closer to the back of this area, it's either I use less of it or seasonal. So this right here, I don't, I barely use, I don't use it every day is what I'm saying. And these are seasonal. These right here, I don't take with me every day. I don't do landscaping as much as I used to, but uh, mainly I do yards now. If you look down there, you see a chainsaw. I don't use that every day, so I don't take it with me every day. These sprayers are kind of, it depends. Like I'll probably take one of them a day, but I don't use them every time I go out. The main thing I use when I go out is my mowers, my weed eaters, edgers, my stick equipment, and my blowers. So what I do with that is, um, when it's time for me to set up everything, put everything in the trailer, I grab my mower, my 52. I use that the most, by the way. They, they, these are in here by importance too. So I use my 52 the most. And my 36, I don't use it as much, but I still use it some. And so when I use my 36, then it goes in too. But for the most part, I use my 52, take my string trimmers and edgers and all that, and my blowers. And then it goes in the same order. So I'll put this in, boom. After I put this in my trailer, and then I can come, put my mower, my, my weed, my string trimmers in. They come in next. And then I put my blowers, they come in last. And then if I'm just gonna bring my 36, my 36 will come in after that. And then I'm done. And then it's the same way. Uh, taking them out. I take my 36 out and I'll put it, I'm going to even put it to the side. And I'll take my blowers out, put them against the wall, take my uh, string trimmers out and edgers and all that, put that up. Then I'll bring my 52 out, put it up. And in my last video, I kind of showed you guys that a little bit, um, how I do that. And uh, it's really, I mean, I'm Try to get used to this camera. So I I do that with my uh, my rate as my daily routine and my mowers and stuff. It only takes me maybe about I'll say three to five minutes to load and unload my trailer. So it's not too much of a hassle, and I have a space for everything. Everything has its own place. Right now my garage is a little bit junky, so try not to pay that too much attention. But everything has its own place. And everything's all good so my wife's working on a project for the, uh, the house so that's why her car is parked out here and she's got stuff set up in here and uh, that's why she's got stuff on the mower but I'm not even using that one today I don't believe so actually I could I got some properties where I could use it but I don't think I'll use it today but anyway uh, yeah this is what we do we go out and knock out them yards and uh, get it done. So, all right guys, enough of that. Let's get into some of this action. 
Uh, and uh, as you can tell, my yard is starting to, the color's coming back. Um, I got some weeds out there. And um, as you can tell, they are dying. If you see some of that yellow. All right, guys. This is uh this is my one of my properties that I got at the end of the year. Side by side with that one. Which I also got at the end of the year. And I just got done with them. Uh, got my edged up, looking nice. And uh yeah. I'm gonna talk to both of them about some weed control. But uh, got them looking pretty good, I think. I got a little nervous when I saw that shed right there because I was thinking maybe he was gonna get a ride him or something to take care of his property. But uh, they called me back and wanted my services. It's always a good thing, guys. All right, guys, this is number three. Just knocked it out smaller yard I got another one I believe it's right down the street down there but uh try to get those done uh, I got I, I believe I got the three across the street I know I got at least the two the one in the middle I'm not sure yet she didn't confirm last year she was gonna use me or not but she was telling me that her guy stopped working uh, for so Hopefully we'll see uh, what's going on with her. But I did retain, these are customers today that I retained from last year. Um, this guy came across the street. He didn't want me to cut it today. He wanted me to start next week, but I told him I won't come back until two weeks. So uh, he said that would be fine. All right, guys, we got these two done. This one, cute little puppy, and the one right behind it, the ones that we knocked out. So, uh, you guys know this property.
Get some good plugs. Okay. We're gonna finish up the yard, but uh, this is where I'm at. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> this thing wears me out every single time. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just close this video out. Always remember, this is quality lawn care, fit for a king.